we'd just run outside and yell, Hey! Answer the phone! I'm calling you! That's how we did Command & Conquer back in the day. Oh my gosh, dude, listen to that freaking techno, dude. Hey guys, I wanted to do something that I haven't done in a long time. I wanted to take a look at some open source video games. Uh, this is gonna be really cool because video games are awesome. And what's even more awesome is open source. You might have heard the news recently that Electronic Arts open sourced Command and Conquer. Uh, they open sourced Tiberium Dawn, Red Alert, Renegade, and Generals. That's very, very exciting, but I don't want that news to distract from the fact that there are some truly incredible fan-made projects out there. Uh, open source games that are re-implementing famous titles. So the first one is OpenRA. OpenRA is a classic Westwood engine re-implementation for Dune 2000, Red Alert, and Command and Conquer. Uh, if these look familiar to you, then you're probably my tribe. I am super stoked about Command and Conquer, about Red Alert here specifically, because you know this doesn't use the um, the source code that just came out. This has been in the works for a decade or more. I've been talking, I've been playing this since before I started my YouTube channel. And so what I want to do is just go over here and download Red, Red Alert or Tiberium Dawn. You can see here that you can get any of the most recent builds and each game is its own download. But because I'm on Linux, I can just open my package manager and I can type in OpenRA and then I can install from trusted sources like uh, Flathub, for example. There's a good chance your distro also packages the game as a native package. This is going to install as a flat pack, which is really cool because flat packs are, are neat. They're isolated from your system and then you can type in OpenRA. And as you type in OpenRA, you're going to see you have three different options. There's Dune 2000, Tiberium Dawn, and Red Alert. Let's go ahead and open up Red Alert because that's kind of the classic as far as I'm concerned. And you can see here, now that it's open, it's going to ask us to install the art assets. You can just do quick install here because what the, this game uh, was licensed as freeware uh, many years ago, um, 2008, yeah. So you can just click quick install here. Now, if you have the disk based version and you have a disk reader, you can go in here and you can uh, install the music or whatever. I'm just gonna hit quick install though. While we wait for this to download, if you've got an open source game you want me to try and promote here on the channel, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I want to take a look at these and hopefully these videos uh, get some attention on open source games. Because like I said at the beginning, there's nothing that's more important than open source. In fact, I have a game that is is I'm releasing as open source pretty soon. It's called Doodling's Arcade Sports Ball. Uh, I released it uh, about a year ago on Steam and Itch, and uh, the game's code is going to be under the GPL3 coming in a couple weeks probably. Uh, I'm trying to get the code ready uh, at the very least to not have it be incredibly messy and gross. So <laughs> uh, I'm doing just a few touch-ups and I'll probably release like an actual stable build of the game on Steam and Itch and other places. And then yeah, you'll be able to download the code and modify it to your heart's content. I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, this is a, a somewhat new menu here. I haven't seen this menu before. This is a first time, first time deal here. I'm gonna set my preferred color. I like a good green. I'm in a green mood. I also like pink, but I'm in a green mood today. Modern control scheme or classic. This is nice because it shows you here what, what each uh, button does. If you click classic, you're gonna use the left mouse button for almost everything. If you use the modern, you're gonna use the right mouse button to command units and such. Edge screen panning, I don't like that very much. We're gonna disable that. And you, there's also three zoom levels, which is, this is one of the cool things about this, uh, about OpenRA is that it has multiple zoom levels uh, UI scale you can set. I'm going to set it to 125 and we'll increase the cursor size too. Why not? 
And I'll contribute some uh, anonymized data back to them so that they can see how the game is being played by their actual users. So one of the things that they mentioned in their most recent uh, update is the fact that they have added new miss missions here. So let's go to missions. Oh my gosh, there's t a ton of missions in here. Battle control initialized. All right, I know that I'm just playing single player missions here, but one of the big appeals of OpenRA is the fact that you can play against, you know, folks online, right? Uh, you can play against people on the internet. And that's not really my jam, but it's a huge appeal since the original CNC games really only supported IPX or direct dial modem connections rather than IPv4, let alone IPv6. I mean, Command & Conquer was released in what, 1996? Like, so these games are old. I remember uh, I played Command & Conquer with my best friend, Carl. He lived two houses over from me. Uh, and we would play uh, Red Alert by calling each other's phone numbers through the game client. <laughs> and then, you know, uh, and if we needed to troubleshoot something, we'd just run outside and yell and be like, Hey, answer the phone, I'm calling you. Yeah. That's how we did Command and Conquer back in the day. Back in my day. I played through this mission so many times when I was a kid. Booyah. I just beat that level. Now the question is, can I move on to the next level? Doesn't look like it. Leave. Battle control terminated. They're missing 11 and 12 in the Allied campaign. They're missing 12, but they have 13. All right, we're gonna try another mission here. We're gonna try mission number two. Now I've cut this video down, so if you wanna watch the uh, the full playthrough of each level that I played while I was recording this, check out my Patreon, and you'll be able to watch that over there, exclusive to my Patreon. Dude, these, there's nothing like these sound effects. Like, they're, they bring me right back, dude. Now, the only thing that could be even more nostalgic and take me back to this time even more is smelling Carl's dad's coffee pot. It was always running. And uh, and his American spirits. Like, man, that would be a huge nostalgia hit right now. There we go. That's the mission right there. So I, I think I beat the level, but it doesn't seem like I actually... The game is registered that I beat it here. Eliminate the entire Soviet Agreed. presence in the area, of course. As you wish. So we'll make sure we kill these guys. Then let's we'll go over here. Very well. And we'll kill these buildings too. Oh shoot, get out of the way. Kill him. Now, this is one of the things that I love about OpenRA. It just has a bunch of quality of life features that you just won't find in the original games, right? Like the original versions of these games have become kind of passe, but you can see that I'm zooming in and out here with the scroll wheel on the mouse. And I think that's just awesome. There's lots of little things like that, little improvements. Being able to queue up multiple units at a time. I mean, that's something that wasn't in the original game. Silos needed. There we go. Accomplished. All right, that was so stupid. <laughs> That's red alert. But there's also uh, Tiberium Dawn. So let's go ahead and try uh, a mission here. Dude, those sound effects take me way back too, man. Holy cow. You defend yourself, my guys. What the hell? Alright. Now we'll just come over here and kill these guys, I guess. It's kind of wild to me, like, that I can fit the entire map on one screen. Like, when we were kids. Oh my gosh, dude. Listen to that freaking techno, dude.
Dude, Frank Lepaki, dude. You can't beat it. It's so good. And there's also one more game that comes with OpenRA Dune 2000. Alright, let's play the first mission. Again, with this tiny little map, dude. I mean, I'm playing at 4K, but still, like, this map is crazy small. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. There's uh, some awesome stuff going on uh, in the open source world, and that's just one of the open source projects. There's a whole bunch, and if you want to see more, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, because uh, I'd love to make this a regular thing. If you enjoyed this video, you can like that smash button. It's the best way to tell YouTube you want to see more videos like this. Uh, and let me know in the comments what other open source games, engine re-implementations uh, you want to see. Because I want to take a look at them. Yeah, let me know your favorite, the one you want to have me check out in the uh, comments below. And I'll take a look at it. That's going to do it for now, though. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.